Hello, this is Inji Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Since last time, I restocked on power pills for everyone in the active party, and since I did gain another level a bit sooner than I usually do, I need to rearrange my party formation. I want to get my die down to the bottom of the active party, and that ought to be good. All right, so... Oh yeah, if you're still at level 28, which I usually am at this point, I would recommend putting Zhou Yu in the active party instead of Ganning so that you don't trigger the chest glitch there. But since I'm here, I don't need to do that. So now let's head to Wu Castle. Not Wu Ling Castle. Now this is a different one. So to get to Wu Castle, we just go back to where we had that massive battle last time and con continue onward. Yeah, usually it's not that hectic for me to recruit Zhou Yu, but, well, it made for a dramatic battle at least. But yeah, we're going to see a lot of areas like this where we're just walking around zigzag paths to get to wherever we need to go. Normally, I'd be concerned about having so few battles on the way here, but given that massive one we had last time, I'm pretty ahead on experience. As a matter of fact, I think I'll gain another level from the next boss fight. I would need 101,403 experience to get up to level 30, and both Zhuge Liang and Zhou Yu can learn the tactic at level 30, so... Yeah, I'll have to change some things around here. Let's see, I want to get my equipment over to Zhuge Liang from Ganning, just like last time. As well as Chi Tu Ma to put M Sha to use. That's really the the big thing for Zhou Yu over other generals, is that he can activate or give us access to N Sha. And he has the most intelligence of any tactician that can do that without getting up to 240, which would give you Beiji instead there. Okay, so Zhuge Liang is ready to go as far as the formation goes. I'll put him in slot 3. Activate Zhou Yu as the tactician. Okay, so if I go like that... That should be good, and with Ganning in the 7th slot, we avoid the chest glitch. Hooray! Yeah, the two battles that I fought on the way here, they both had generals that could use Jimion. And I was like, no, I'm not going to win that battle quickly enough, so just edit out battles like that. But instead, we're ready to go! For boss time! Against Zhuge Jing... Zhang Qin, my source didn't list how to pronounce that guy's family name, and Han Dan. Okay, so, let's see, Zhuge Jin is the really big threat because of Jimian and a lot of highly damaging tactics. Qin doesn't really have anything I'm especially concerned about, neither does Han Dan, just a lot of strength there. So, I'm going to use Jimian here at the start, but otherwise, uh, let's see. Let's try taking out the rebel forces here, because I'm going to use An Sha to deal with all of the generals in this one. Okay, so Zhao Yun, let's have him go after, uh, let's see, yeah, Jin there. Zhuge Liang, try to get working on Zhuge Jin. He does have a lot of intelligence, but not as much as Zhuge Liang. Guess I got a sibling rivalry thing going on. I don't know. And then, yeah, let's get Jimion. That should be good to go. Hey! hey Alright! One try! Sometimes it can take me a little while to uh, get the kill on him. Well, that'll make this uh, quite a bit easier than I anticipated. So, uh, Zhao Yun could also get in Sha to work on Han Dang there. So, either or, whoever gets there first. Very nice. 
didn't even have to use any uh, elixirs on the way here. So I did use Jin Zeon a couple times. Oh, we didn't get enough. Uh, oh, we're almost there. I would like to finish off that level before uh, resting up at the end. How about we, uh, yeah, just hang out over here a little bit. Yeah, get a quick battle with some rebels and that'll finish everything off. Oh, I'm almost there still. Okay, well, at least I got some quick battles. Yeah, I thought that battle would have had enough, but, uh, the boss fight, that is. But, nope, nope. But we do gain another level. Lots more soldiers for the army. And we both learn Huoshen, the ultimate fire elemental damage tactic. Hits all enemies for massive damage. It's really good. Okay, so now with Zhugaliang, I probably should have done this before fighting those quick couple battles there, but that's okay. But yeah, let's get Gunning back in action. And now that we're at level 30, I don't really need to worry about uh, the chest glitch. Let's make Zhugaliang my tactician again. And then, okay, so, yeah. Oh, I gotta get uh, Chituma back over to Xiaoyun there. But yeah, I'll rearrange my party so I never have to worry about the chest glitch ever again. Okay, so... Oh, right, yeah, Zhuge Jin had it. There you go. Okay, and then... Let's see, as far as my formation goes, I think I leave it... Well, mostly the same. Uh, Zhao Yun is getting a little ahead there. Okay, so let's get Ganning, Zhao Yun, and then like that. That should be good, everyone in order. Yes, okay, we're good to go. So, for the next tactic at level 31, that's the last tactic you learn in the game. And it requires 240 intelligence to learn. So, Zhou Yu will not learn it, and... Thus, we won't get the chest glitch for the remainder of the game. Hooray! Well, we made it. Thanks for greeting me after I murdered your guards. Fortunately, the inn is pretty cheap here. Let's see, in Wu Castle, there's a couple items that we can find around here. Starting with Splint Mail. Let's see, I want to give that to, uh, let's see, probably Ganing, but I might think about it. Yeah, you know what, let me think about that, because my party order is a bit different than it usually is. Usually I would give it to Huang Zhong. Oh, Poyang Fortress, huh? Well, we went to Poyang Mountain, so why not a forest? Now, if you had a hard time defeating or getting in shadow work on Zhuge Jin, I would recommend using power pills on him and then restocking on them here, but I don't need to. Unfortunately, Wu Castle is not a Gullwing location. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, we've been through a tunnel before, but this one is long. Not highway to hell long, but still pretty long. But over here we find a crossbow. The next upgrade hits twice, just like the original bow. And let's see, well that one I definitely want to get to Machao there. And I'll hand down the scimitar. Let's see, probably to Madai there. Yeah, so why don't you get out of there? And then, who got the crossbow? Okay, yeah. Definitely give that to my chat. Or, oh, oh, yeah, right. I gotta give his scimitar to Madai, then the crossbow. But yeah, definitely get the crossbow to Machao there. And then, we got scimitars on, well, almost everyone else. Not Ganning, since he has relatively lower strength, but still really good. Hmm... Wonder what that could be. We'll remember that for later. Yes. Hmm. I wonder. 
But let's see, over here, yeah, we got the historian. Oh, okay. How dangerous could it possibly be? Lumang, huh? Oh, okay. Never mind then. But can we make it all the way over to Wu Tunnel? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!